Hello and welcome to GoldPal Tutorials. This time we're going to test gold using the electronic tester. This is a very simple way to test gold. Well, if you have the machine. This machine is the most common, the, the wide, most widely used by the industry and it's very accurate. With this machine, you could test gold in a similar way you'd test gold with the acid test in the terms that is very simple and immediate but with this you can get more accurate results. This uh, machine could test gold from 6 to 24 carats. It could tell you the exact carriage. It could tell you if it is 15, 16 carats instead of the acid test in which you could only know if the piece of jewelry is either 10, 14, 18 or 22. This is a little more accurate. So let's start. Let's start with this ring. Now this ring here is a wedding ring, a wedding band that has a label that says 14 carat. I'm sorry, it's here, 14 carat. Let's put it to the test. First, the most important thing you can you have to do when you test gold using the electronic tester, you have to have a clean surface. You use an eraser. Sometimes erasers are dirty. Before you clean the surface of the piece of jewelry, you have to clean the eraser first. Okay, now it looks pretty good. Let's put it on top of the testing platform. Put it here. This time, we have just turned on the machine in order to test this. When we do that, we have to clean the tip. Because this machine has been used before and it has residues of the gel because there's an, a gel we need to use in order to test so we have to clean the tip and it says here it tells you when you turn it on let's say I'm going to turn it off and then you turn it on the first thing it tells you is clean sensor tip is a single most important thing is to have clean surfaces the tip of the sensor you clean it with a plastic tip that comes with the kit. That way you remove gel from previous testings. You use also a swab. This cleaning is only the first time you go through a testing session. After that you could test 20, 30 times without having to clean the tip again. Only the first time. Now we're going to try applying the gel. You see you have to apply some gel to the tip, not too much. If you apply too much gel, results could be different and not, that may not describe reality. Now, a little too much. We're going to remove some of the gel and we apply. We are going to rest the tip of the test, the tester, on the piece of jewelry, but this is a pre-test. Every time you turn the machine on for the first time, you do a pre-test. It is not taken into account because it could be an erratic result. So, okay, we're, this is going to be the pre-test, and we're not going to take this one into account. It tells you 12 carats. Okay, I believe that it is possible to have a ring that has a label that reads 14 carats and still be lesser than that. It happens very often. Let's try with another wedding band. Now these two wedding bands are very similar. We're going to try testing this other wedding band. Again, we clean the surface, very, very important. We're gonna put this ring on the testing platform and add just a little more of the gel. Alright. And we test. Yet again, 12 carats. And this ring also reads 14 carats. That is the way you test with the electronic tester. Very simple. A click of a button and very accurate. Okay, that's it. Thank you.